Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to go about resolving the Microsoft Store error that page cannot be loaded. Try again later. So if you're coming across this problem, I'm going to show you guys a few different methods on how to hopefully resolve it without too much of a hassle here. And we're going to go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the Start menu. Just off going to the Start button one time. Type in CMD. So just type in CMD again into the Start menu, and the best match should come back with Command Prompt. You want to go ahead and right-click on that, and then select Run as Administrator. And now in this Elevate Command Line window, I'm going to have a couple commands I want you guys to copy from my description. The first one starts with Net Stop, and you want to go up to the top bar of the Command Prompt, right-click on it, left-click on Edit, and then left-click on Paste to paste it in. Hit Enter on your keyboard. Once it says that the Windows Update service has been stopped successfully, copy the second command, go to the top bar of the command prompt, right click on it again, left click on edit, and then paste in the second command here. Once that one is done, we want to type in the third command, or paste it in like we were doing with the previous two. Should start back up the Windows Update service, and then at this point you can either just type in exit or close out of the command prompt window. So hopefully I would have been able to resolve the problem. So another thing you can try would be to go ahead and open up the star menu again. Type in PowerShell. Best match to go back on Windows PowerShell. Right click on it. And then left click on Run as Administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, left click on Yes. Now I'm going to have a command in the description of the video. I want you guys to copy it directly from my description. So it should start with PowerShell. So just go up to the top bar of the PowerShell here, right click on it, left click on Edit, and then left click on Paste. Give it a moment to run here, this will take a little bit of time, so please be patient. And you can see it was very quick, so you should have a little blinking cursor when it's all done. Once you have that, you can close out of here. Now open up the Start menu, type in WS Reset. Best man should come back with WS Reset. You want to right click on that, and then left click on Run as Administrator. Give it a moment to run here. This is basically resetting the Windows Store, so just be patient. And there you go, guys. The Microsoft Store or Windows Store has reopened. So pretty straightforward process here, guys. Do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.